What do you do what before do you, do you get shoot into the character? Shot, like, to get into? I just drink juice and eat food. I, I don't really, I don't really, I don't know, man. I don't really think about it too much. I don't just have to, naturally tell I don't have to think about it too much. It's just, it's a natural. When you, when you start thinking about it, that's when things start to go wrong. You, you know, know what I'm saying? Don't even learn lines yeah, on purpose, like, like, like fun. Like. So this season, you're not only an actor, but you're also an EP, an executive producer. Mm. So, like, so what does that mean? Like, what do you actually do in a, as an exec? It means I can write you up. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it means. <laughs> it means, do you know what? It means empowerment for, for us because we can have some, you know, impact on, on the stories that are going to be told about the lives that most of us on this, you know what I mean, mm. on this platform have led. Do you know what I'm saying? You know, the beauty of Top Boy is that it represents, it represents a certain people. Um, and I know myself, 100%, and Kane have come from that life. Do you know what I'm saying? So who better to tell those stories or be a part of shaping those stories for the rest of the, mm. the world to see? You know, we've been involved in, in the scripts, We've been involved in like the journey of you, you lot's characters, not only our own characters, but kind of where you guys go. It's good to have that position. It's good to be able to, um, to just be a bit more involved creatively in what happens with the show. I've got a link to Spain and Morocco. About to come true with a big bit. More money than you've ever seen in your life, bro. Do you want to be a part of it or what? Part of it, how? By doing what you've always done. Selling food. Your food, yeah? I guess it is, yeah. My food. From the first season, yeah, that's when I really wanted to be in it, bro. Like, I saw, I saw Driss. Because obviously me and Driss are from the same... Are, how old were you then? Ooh, um, probably 14, 15. OK. So I see, I see Driss in the show, obviously men from the same era. So I see him, I was like, bro, what? You say, well, you can't get man in the show, bro. Da, 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 da. Didn't really work like that, you know what I'm saying? But then I heard that they was doing auditions for the, the, the next season that was coming. I see one of my guys pull up with his cousin. His cousin's an actor, he had an agent at the time, everything. Mm. I see him just walking past all of us, do his thing and cut. I was thinking, what? Is that the power of an agent, bro? I need to find a way to get an agent or something, you know what I'm saying? And see, I didn't even get to do the audition. And then, yeah, this time came around. Remember my cousin telling me, she was like, yeah, she heard that there's auditions for Top Boy. And I was like, you sure? She was like, yeah. So I asked my agent to keep her ears open for it. And she was like, oh, no, I've already suggested you for it. I was like, yeah. Oh, oh, I, OK, <laughs> say no more. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then, yeah. In this day and age, there's so many different routes to market. Like, back in the day, like you were saying about the agent thing, it had yeah. to be the agent thing. Yeah. Literally. You had to have an agent, and it was like, how do I get an agent if I haven't done anything? And then the answer was like, I don't know. You know, one of them ones, like... Bro. Um, but now, with the rise in social media, with people like Dez Street casting yeah. or whatever, there's so many different avenues into the game. I told, so I told, I told like, some of my friends some time as well, like, you don't have to go to drama school, you don't have to have, you know what I'm trying to say, you can do it yourself, you can set up your camera and learn the monologue and record it yourself, mm. hit up an agency on the DM, send it to them, you know what I'm trying to say, shoot your shot, mm. you know what I'm saying? We've had some really interesting stories of how people have got into the show, and I know that you, I, I want to hear yours, because I know you, I, I heard like there was a, was something to do with a barber shop. Yeah, <laughs> so I remember I was going back to school, and my hair was just horrendous. Like, I'm in the barber shop and I'm seeing a barber, he's doing a madness to people's hair. Like, I'm seeing zigzags, people's hairlines are back. I'm thinking, oh yeah, my God. we need to get out because this is not it. <laughs> so then, as we're about to leave, a woman um, just came to us and said, Audition for Top Boy. At first, I was thinking, yeah, she, she just, she's not telling the truth. Like, she's just mm. chatting because Top Boy, that's, that's a long time ago. So, what's going on? Mm. But then she's like, no, it's, it's real, it's real. Um, you know what, I'll just write your name down in, in my book and I'll give you a certain time to come in um, into a certain place. So then I was like, you know what, I might as well because I have nothing to do. So 
I went in, and then yeah. The rest is history. <laughs> yeah. You're here. So, yeah, man, though. That was, I love those stories, man. I really, like, they touched me, man. I already said that I'm a trendsetter and anything you can do, I can do better. I keep it cool out no matter the weather. Haters want attention, I don't even sweat. Don't even sweat or I don't even bother. I'm getting this beat, then I jump on another. I'm trying to make a This season especially has given such Straight an incredible nice platform for all the female cast mm. to have these dimensional characters that have so much to them. From the last season, Lauren sorts of, she's, you know, she starts off like, ah, ha, ha, champagne boys, da, 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 all of that. And then, and of course, towards the end, you know, it all goes terribly wrong for her. But, you know, I feel like this season, it's just a series of unfortunate events mm. again and again and again. And that was, you know, the subject matter and the storyline was not something I took lightly at all. It was kind of interesting, actually, you know, we were sort of half filming Top Boy um, during the pandemic, you know, domestic violence was, you know, at an all time high. So I actually got in contact with a domestic violence charity in order to kind of speak to them and help me navigate how to, you know, tell the truth, I guess, with mm. my character and what she goes through. Curtis, please, can I just have some privacy? I'm only going in there to try some things on. Please. No, no, she's right. She needs a privacy. Thank you. I'll go with her. Oh, yeah. Go on. Come here. What's wrong? Baby, what's wrong? Please, please. I'm just so ashamed. Look, I feel so ugly and, and, and bloated, and I don't want anyone seeing me like this. It's only V. What's that? Hey, you're beautiful to me. To me? No. Did you really just say that? What I meant was to me. Or... Well, I, I disgust you. No. Yeah? Hey, hey, shh, shh. Come here, come here. Hey. Right, right. Can I please be by myself? One minute, please. Alright, alright. Just don't cry. Yeah? You go on. Um, please, can I have some money? Although I've come from a different background to the characters in the story, I've been given such a an amazing storyline. And as someone who came into the to the show as a new person, it showed me for the first time that it was a possibility that I could be in something like that. To be honest, the whole experience was quite nerve-wracking. Mm. <laughs> I mean, I'm so lucky that I had Saffron and Jazz. Like, Jasmine, they, they were so supportive. Saffron, we had, like, loads of bands. We had so many laws. Constant laughing. Yeah. Of course. One of my first scenes was, like, a kind of mad scene that was so challenging. I didn't really understand any of the language, like, it was so new to me to be like in front of the camera in such a different way. It's so interesting. You can do as many kind of acting classes as, as you want. You can like train as much as you want when you're kind of at home. But actually like being on set is the lesson. <laughs> I like your style. <laughs> it's not my style. It's just me. <laughs> OK, well, I like you. I think you look really great. That was your cue. To say something really nice, preferably without me having to prompt you. <laughs> I mean, when Life said to me she wanted to hook me up, I wasn't expecting her to look like you. What's it like being recognised in the show? Um, like, recognise, like, doing your own thing. You're still at school as well. Your yeah. girl's running after you, mm. isn't it? No, no, no. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, no, no. yeah. Um, I think, in general, like, I still live a normal life because I still live happy, I still live with my mum. However, I am more recognised in certain places which I go and, like, more doors are open for me. But, in general, like, I try to keep, like, to myself, quiet and just, like, focus on what I need to do. No, I saw you filming a music video in the middle of Shoreditch. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know what you're talking you're about. Do you remember? When you were there, like, hey! Oh and I was like, is that Aaron Law? And you were like, oh, yeah, 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 you cool. And then went back oh. to it, so... Mm. I know, that, that, was my, that was my friend's video, I was just supporting him. Yeah. But, like, I think... <laughs> no, but in general, I do like to, like, keep, like, quiet and just, like, perfect, like, the art of acting. So, like, most... I, if I'm not um, in sixth form, then 
I'm either at home, like, trying to work on my accent or, like, doing auditions. Looking back on your top boy legacy, mm. what, does that, what does all that mean to you? Like, how does it feel to be sat here today? You know, when we started this thing, it was like, we didn't even know it was going to get made. No. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, when I read those first scripts that Ronan wrote, and I see people getting shot in their head and fingers getting cut off and all this stuff, yeah. that stuff had never been on TV no. before. You know, this life, the story of this life had never been told in the way that it was about to be told at that moment. And me and Kane would be on set shooting scenes, like night shoots, doing these crazy things, actually looking at each other, feeling like, is this actually going to get put out? Yeah. Are we wasting our time? Yeah. Like, are they going to put this on TV? Do you know what yeah. I mean? And then to see what it's grown into, like there was no, there was no point where we sat there thinking, this is going to be huge. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but like, we just didn't know what the beast would be. So to be able to sit back now, see it on Netflix, do you know what I mean? See it in, in doing well in the States, doing Bill well around Bill Europe, Bill billboards, billboards and whatever. Billboard it's like, Square. Yeah, it's like, you know, it's no, it was no easy thing. Why do you think Top Way is still relevant like, to today? I just think, I think it's relevant because obviously it depicts real life, innit? You know what I'm saying? Like, there's actually youths that, like, that come from a, mm. a deprived community that go through these real life situations, you know what I'm saying? And it's important that, this, that the stories are told so people can get an insight of how it actually is. And, like, it's not senseless in a way, you know what I'm saying? Like, everyone's doing something for a reason. Everyone's trying to live, everyone wants to survive, everyone wants, to, wants a better life, do you know what I'm saying? So. Active. Hands on, big paycheck, no ransom. Yeah. People thought I was a waste, man, the last one, but because I was missing with a shotgun, bro. Mm. <laughs> uh, is that what you were getting challenged about? Like Everywhere I got, bro, how could you let auntie overpower you with the shotgun? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>